Hey guys, it's Jeb with Safeside Tactical. Today we're going to discuss three handguns for new handgun owners. Alright guys, so we're going to talk about three different guns here. All three of them are striker-fired handguns. The nice thing about a striker-fired handgun is it's very simple. There's not a lot of moving parts, so it's very reliable. Um, and when you get into the pistol shooting world, you want to have something nice and simple. Um, and so that it's more friendly for you. Um, a striker fired handgun, basically the way it works, with a striker fired handgun you have inside the slide a firing pin or a striker. So essentially what happens is as you press the trigger, it brings the striker to the rear. At a certain point the trigger drop or the trigger bar drops down and allows the striker to go forward um, and fire the round. With that trigger press you're cocking the gun as well as firing the gun so it's very uh, simple not a lot of moving parts and very reliable um, also it's very safe to carry all right so a lot of you probably are want wanting to carry the gun after you shoot and get confident with it and get your concealed handgun permit so having something that's very simple and safe is good for you as a concealed carry permit holder all right guys so first we have the Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 9mm a few great features about this gun is its ease of use, simplicity, and reliability. With the 2.0 MMP, you have a rough textured frame that allows you to grip the gun very effectively. Um, you also can change out your back straps so you can accommodate different size hands. Um, the trigger in the 2.0 is very nice, very crisp. All right, the um, ability to take the gun apart to clean it is very very simple. Um, you also can change out your sights and install different types of sights for different types of shooters and different types of shooting actually. Um, the gun allows a lot of uh, ability to grow. Um, you can change out to different triggers as well, um, different um, slide catches and stuff like that. It's pretty much the Honda Civic of uh, the gun world, just like the Glock 19 here, which we'll talk about shortly. Um, with this gun, it comes with a 17-round magazine. So 17 plus one on the capacity gives you plenty of rounds to get a lot of good reps in um, when, you, when you're learning how to shoot. Um, and being that it is a 9 millimeter and this size, um, the recoil impulse is very, very minimal with proper grip. Um, we also have a Picatinny rail on the gun so you can attach um, lights and lasers. Um, and that also can help balance out the gun a lot too, having that pick rail on there with a lighter laser on the gun. You can change out your uh, magazine catch um, to the, le the left or right side for left and right-handed shooters. Also, it has a ambidextrous uh, slide catch, um, so it pretty much can accommodate everyone. Next, we have the Glock 19. This is the Generation 4 model. Um, currently, they ha there are Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5 in production. The uh, Gen 4 model is also carried by a lot of special operations units and it's the most sold Glock handgun in the world. Um, the Glock 19 is nice for a beginner. It's not too big, it's not too small. You get 15 plus one on the capacity. You can also use 17 round Glock uh, 17 mags. Um, the gun is very simple, very reliable, not a lot of moving parts. So that um, allows you to train and not really run into many malfunctions. Um, the gun uh, features sights that you can remove and replace, um, which we highly recommend. Uh, you have the ability to add in back straps to change for different uh, hand sizes and accommodate um, different types of shooters. The um, takedown mechanism on this gun is very simple. Uh, the ability to take it apart and clean it is, is great. <coughs> With the Generation 4, you have a, a dual recoil spring. Um, so that um, helps reduce recoil and because of the size of the gun it's very easy to shoot for most people with a proper grip um, because it's not too small not too big all right the um, gun has the ability also to change the magazine release to the left or right side depending on the left or right handed shooter um, and the generation 5 model um, which we don't have present here currently is the you can it features a ambidextrous slide catch. Um, this one is just on the left hand side of the gun for a right handed shooter. 
The next one is a great uh, training tool. So this is the MMP22 Compact. Uh, it features a 10 plus 1 capacity. Um, you can get this in a couple different versions, some that are threaded, some that are non-threaded. Um, threaded being for future uh, use. Um, the gun features an external uh, safety, some, some people like that, um, as well as a trigger safety and some internal safeties that make it that much more safe to handle and utilize. Um, you can also change out your magazine catch to the left or right side to accommodate left or right-handed shooters. It also um, has a slide catch on it that is just on the left side for a right-handed shooter. Um, sights on this gun, you have uh, dovetail front and rear, and you can change out to different sights, I believe. It also is uh, adjustable here in the rear. Um, this gun, this particular model, you cannot change out your back strap. Probably, to, probably don't need to anyway. It's a rather small gun, um, good for training. It's very light as well, and the recoil impulse is going to be very, very light um, to introduce new shooters into the pistol world. All right, guys, so for the MMP 2.0 and the MMP Generation 1, Apex uh, triggers are also are available for this gun to change out your trigger mechanism um, once you get confident with that gun. Um, we recommend that you shoot the gun several times or several hundred rounds before you change out triggers so that you get good practice on that trigger um, so that when you move into the upgraded one, you'll appreciate it a lot more and also have good fundamentals already built up. So for the Glock 19 Gen 4, um, there is a lot of upgrades out there for this guy. So you, you can change out your triggers, change out slides, change out sights, internal parts, um, like your firing pin mechanism, um, change out barrels to accommodate for a suppressor. Um, you can also um, change out guide rods. Uh, Magpul may make a extended um, magazine well, some flared magazine well for faster reloads. There's a lot of stuff that can be done to this. Also, um, a lot of companies out there nowadays shaving the grips down and stippling them, making them rougher or similar to the 2.0 texturing. Um, so you can really make it yours and customize it a lot. It's like the Honda Civic of the gun world. All right, guys, so as far as um, holsters and stuff for, for the uh, 2.0 and the Glock 19, um, there's a lot of holster makers out there, um, including like Blackhawk, um, Phobos, um, uh, some of the other brands like for concealed carry, Alien Gear, NSR Tactical, uh, Green Force, uh, Blade Tech. There's a lot of good companies out there making uh, holsters for these, these guns. Um, so when it comes to concealed carrying these guns specifically, you definitely want to have a good holster, um, something that's going to accommodate the gun well and not um, print on your body, basically showing that you are carrying a gun. Um, there's also a lot of outside the waistband holsters as well for these two. All right, so that's going to get you um, at least open carrying or some form of um, drawing from a holster, getting good training there. Um, also here at SafeSide, we off offer holster draw courses. So come and see us for that. We can help you out there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you've seen here today, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. If you want to see more of our videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the range. Have a great day.